Northumberland County is, surprisingly, not a hotbed of West African drumming. But my friend Hope Kopf is trying to change that. In 2000, Hope attended a conference on worldwide percussion in the Catskills. Participants were exposed to rhythms from around the world. It was a wonderful education. I got to experience um, taiko drumming from Japan, uh, all kinds of Latin in, uh, drumming on congas, Mid-Eastern with Rocky Denzer. I got to work with a, a little woman called Edwina Lee Tyler, and she has been drumming since before Babatundi came over, or at least when he did, and that's back in the 60s. Wonderful, wonderful teacher. And it's through her and through Ubaka Hill that I realized I really love West African. Because when you're, when you're doing the rhythms from West Africa, you're taking part in their culture. Every rhythm has something to do with life there. Cultures of the world have always fascinated Hope, so in learning the rhythms of West Africa, she is also learning about their culture. The rhythms, two of my favorites are, are rhythms that are used for baby naming ceremonies. They don't give babies a name right away because the mortality rate is so high. And uh, when they're one week old, then they'll have a special big celebration where they give them the name and their special rhythms played. There are rhythms for weddings, funerals, rites of passage. There's, there's special rhythms just for having visitors in the, in the village. Uh, some people probably know Fanga. Fanga, Alafia, Ashe, Ashe. That was taught by Bapa Tundi, who's from Liberia. But it is a song from Nigeria, and it's a welcoming song. Learning these different rhythms and teaching them to others is Hope's passion. Every summer I go to, to uh, a camp in North Carolina, Wild Acres, up in the mountains in the northwest corner of the state. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful resort. And for one week I get to work with Africans who are teaching, who come back year after year. And so, yes, I keep adding to what I am able to play mm -hmm. and to teach. Before Hope showed me the many different drums in her collection, she gave me a quick geography lesson. I do want to explain where West Africa is. The rhythms I have been learning only come from these countries. That's West Africa, not up here, not the whole rest of the continent. It's just right here. Okay. Most of my teachers have been from Guinea, mm -hmm. which is right there. There are a few different types of drums used in West Africa. This is a djembe. There's three basic sounds. There's the bass, the tone, and slap. That's your higher, the highest one, the middle, and the low. Uh, this is the drum Americans like. And it's, it's very portable, you take it with you. Mm -hmm. The melody instrument in all these rhythms, most of these rhythms, most, most, um, is done on the bass drums. This is the Dunun Ba. And little bell on top. They do have blacksmiths. These are ancient type bells. This drum um, gives you the bottom, but it also um, adds a little interest and helps keep everybody together. This is the special one, this medium sized one. It's called a Songbon. And in all these rhythms, there are patterns for the different instruments. Mm -hmm. There's several djembe parts, usually, and there's patterns for these three drums, and sometimes with bells. The, the pattern for this drum is going to be different ev for every different rhythm. It's mm -hmm. never the same. So if you come across drummers, you have to listen to this part, and then you can identify which rhythm they're doing. So this is your middle one. And it's, it's the spice. It's the melody. The highest pitch comes from the kinkany. This is the metronome. It often just plays mm -hmm. For all these, you're doing one thing with one hand and one with the other. Great fun. All of the drums are handcrafted and the djembes each have unique carvings on the bases. All the heads are goat skin. 
the Dunans, those are cow skin and the hair is still on. You can perhaps see that. To create a rhythm, each instrument plays a very specific pattern. In order to be able to play these rhythms, Hope needed some folks to join her. I wanted to play and there's nobody around here. Uh, the closest I found is Harrisburg and right now we're getting a good group going there of real intermediate and above people we can go out and perform. But this group will be able to perform this summer if anyone wants West African drumming. Hope only accepts donations from those who want to learn drumming. I don't charge for lessons. Really? Absolutely. I would rather somebody come and give me nothing mm -hmm. than not come. At 7.30 on most Tuesday nights, folks join Hope in her basement to learn a new rhythm. Tonight, we were learning cuckoo. This rhythm is played when the women return from fishing. It's a dangerous job regardless of whether they are on the river or in the ocean, so their return is cause for celebration. They would come back, they play this for them to dance, and they would dance with the tools that they used to fish, whether it was spears or nets or whatever. Now it's just for fun. Before we started, Hope showed me how to hold the drum between my knees and how to play each of the sounds on the djembe. Shall I run through how to do tones again? Just to make sure. This pad is right on your drum, not off it. I want to hear your tones. Have you been practicing? Um, a fair amount. Like... Let me hear. How are you sounding now? Oh, so much better. Left hand. Excellent. You want to have the feeling that you're pushing the sound down through the wood. There, that's a better sound. Okay? Okay. Let's try it. Bounce. Relax your fingers so they're nice and patty. I'm going to go into the middle and make a triangle. And all the power is behind the palm of your hand. But your fingers are going to hit. Don't okay. tighten your fingers. Don't stick them up in the air. Okay. It's just the power is behind the palm. Join me, please. Relax your fingers. Good. Okay. Four, three, two, one. And you're done. The tough one is in the same spot as the open tone, and it's called the slap, and only your fingertips are going to hit. Relax your hand. The first pattern in cuckoo is tone, tone, rest, bass, tone, tone, rest. The whole thing goes right, left, right, left. In West African drumming, where there's a beat, you play with your dominant hand. Now it was our turn to try. With your dominant hand, tone, tone, rest, bass, tone, tone, bass. Ready? Try it. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. It's okay. We allow mistakes. Yes. It's how you learn. I have a bit of musical skill, but this was throwing me for a loop. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Tone, tone, rest, bass, tone, tone, bass. Tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass. Fortunately, Hope has been doing this long enough that she was able to sort out my problem. Are you confused because I'm playing left-handed? Yes, but do what you have to do. It's only if I look I don't you have I get to. Confused. I can do right-handed. I used to be right-handed. My arthritis oh, acted say, up in this get... hand, so I learned to drum left-handed. With a little more practice, we started to get the hang of it. Sounding good.
The call is how rhythms are begun and ended. You're going to hear me do You're going to keep playing whatever you're playing. Don't switch okay. until I do the stop on that one. Okay. Play. Stop. And then come in on a flam, one hand just before the other. Boom. If you okay. can do slaps, do slaps. And this is how it works. One more time. One, two, ready, go. I was feeling rather successful, and it was now time to add another pattern. Bass, tone, tone, rest, slap. Bass, tone, tone, rest, slap. Bass, tone, tone, rest, slap. Notice one hand, your dominant hand, is doing bass, tone, rest, slap. Bass, tone, rest, slap. Bass, tone, rest, slap. Because all three of those are on the beat. Ready? Go. Bass, tone, tone, rest, slap. Rests. Bounce. Bounce. Don't grip it. Good. Excellent. Once we had the second pattern down, it was time to put them together. Louise, Fran, and Ethan played the second pattern while Paul, Hope, and I worked on the first one we learned. Get them going first, and then we'll come in. Are you ready? One, two, ready, go. Bass, tone, tone, rest, slap. Here we go. sounded pretty good if I do say so myself. Remember what Hope said at the beginning though, the melody is played on the dunans. We needed to add some melody to our rhythm. Try it on your drum bass. One, two, ready, go. Ethan took over this part for us, and we added it to our other patterns. I thoroughly enjoyed my evening with Hope and her drummers. I've never been a percussionist, and I have to tell you, it's an awful lot of fun. So there you have it, West African drumming, right here in your neighborhood. If you would like more information about Hope's classes, you can reach her by email at hkopf at ptd.net. I hope you enjoyed this episode of In Your Neighborhood. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. And if you have a story idea, email it to me at iyn at ccnnews8.com. I'm your host, Jennifer Wakeman. Thanks for watching.